All right, but before we get into uh, the review and the finale of Dragon Ball Super episode 67 for the Future Trunks arc, I want to go ahead and apologize for uh, the late upload. This is, this will probably be coming out either late Monday or, or early in the morning on Tuesday, depending on when I get around to edit, editing this on my program because uh, I had a friend over on Sunday and that's usually when I get uh, when I actually get the chance to actually watch Dragon Ball Super when there's a new episode out um, on, uh, on Crunchyroll or whatever. That's usually when I get a chance to see it or whatever, but you know, I had a friend over so I got busy. Uh, he stayed over for the night and I didn't really get a chance to watch it and record my uh, my overall just like review on the episode, but that's, that's besides the point i want to go ahead and get into the episode now for episode 67 of dragon ball super and also the finale of the future trunks arc now overall uh episode 67 it's pretty much what we all thought what was going to happen this is going to be a shorter episode by the way um we, we pretty much all expected what we thought we were going to expect uh because uh, Future Trunks had only only killed basically one half of what there was and merged Zamasu, or Zamas as uh, it's correctly pronounced. Um, one half of him was immortal. The other one, uh, the other half wasn't. So the the mortal part of him uh, was was able was trying to like control the universe basically. That's what uh, basically become what is the universe, and that's what he was trying to do. At least that's what they were saying, the characters that were saying in the episode. And then, <laughs> you because, know, like, if only we had, like, one more Senzu bean, right? And he's checking his pockets and shit, right? And then the button that he got from the Omni King in the past, uh, he still had it. He still had it with him. And then he called upon the Omni King or Zeno or the King of All, if you want to call him that. He, he had summoned him to planet Earth where... The Masu was uh, was destroying fucking everything. He had he had fucking killed everybody besides uh, Goku, Trunks, Vegeta, Bulma, and uh, Adult Mai. Basically, that was the only they were the only people who were alive. Omni King shows up and he's like, "What is this? This is terrible. Everything's just like dead. You know, everything just died, right?" And then uh, he was asking Goku, "Did you summon me?" And he was like, "Yeah." You know, Omni King also asked, "Did you do this?" Well. No, he didn't do it. It was Zamasu. He pointed up in the sky, and he's like, "Don't you think you should destroy him or something?" And uh, Omni King was like, "Yeah, destroy the whole planet, basically." And that's what he did. And uh, of course, because it's the Omni King, he's able to kill anybody, whether they're immortal or not. So Zamasu's dead. Uh, Goku Black, who is technically Zamasu, is dead. Oh, and one more thing: uh, people who were saying that Trunks somehow learned. Uh, the spirit bomb and that's what it was the spirit same sword or whatever actually Goku pointed it out like that was, that, was, that was like a spirit bomb wasn't it I thought that was really funny because people were like did the chunks somehow learn how to use the spirit bomb whatever doesn't really matter so uh, they go back to the past uh, and then of course uh, chunks and Mai are like all upset I'm sorry my fucking arm just got in the way of the mic I apologize for that uh, Trunks and Mai are all upset because everyone's dead. The whole planet's dead. They had worked so hard to protect everybody, and they, they all just died, which is devastating to them because they, they just tried so hard to fucking do it. And then Whis is like, well, there is a way where we can do, uh, we, where we can revive everybody and make it to where Zamasu doesn't exist. And what I thought was really funny was, uh, the fact that Beerus is like, no, you can't do that because that's just going to create another time ring. And then Whis points out to Beerus, like, but you already did that, Beerus. Like, don't you remember? Uh, because when he had killed Zamasu in the present timeline of, uh, of the timeline where uh, Goku's alive and everything and that stuff, uh, Beerus had created a timeline where basically, excuse me, I just burped a little bit. He had created a timeline where basically Zamasu was destroyed uh, by Beerus and none of the events that happened in the future happened, basically. Excuse me, I'm burping a lot. I apologize for that. That was very unprofessional. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, Beerus, uh, he's like, oh, whatever, just do, whatever, just do whatever you want. I don't care. 
And uh, Whis points out that he's just gonna go into the future, right? He's gonna use um, he's gonna use Whis is just gonna do what Whis does. He's gonna go back uh, to the point where it's like, yo, Beerus, uh, in in the future timeline. He's, he's gonna be like, yo, Beerus, listen to me. If you don't kill this guy in Universe 10, all the gods are basically going to die. And then, and then basically the the timeline continues as it should have uh, without Zamasu in it. And basically that's the whole that's the whole big important thing about it. Zamasu's gonna die in the future timeline. Uh, he's dead in the present timeline. And then basically uh, there are gonna be two trunks and two and two mais in the future timeline. And uh, Whis even points that out, and then uh, they were, and he was like, "Are you okay with this?" Is my my eyes all like, "Yeah, I'm okay with it." Everyone was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and then she, and then she just straight up points out the fact that it's like we tried so hard to beat him, and if this is going to be a way to make sure that everybody's alive and okay, then that's that's all right, you know, it doesn't matter. And uh, I, I guess we're just gonna have to live with that, I guess. Uh, two chunks and two mys uh, in the future timeline. That's hilarious. But um, yeah, it it basically just ends off the episode uh, with trunks, uh, adult trunks and my going back to the future. And before they leave, uh, Gohan and Piccolo show up. And then, uh, of course, because it's uh, it's future trunks, he ends up having like a small little glimpse of like hope. And uh, and all this because he had saw uh, he had seen Gohan again and as as you know for people who watched uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff and the uh, the Future Trunks episode or whatever it doesn't really matter but um Future Trunks or uh, Future Gohan had trained Future Trunks and uh, he had an emotional bond with him and as he was growing up as a kid that was pretty much like this this father figure that he had or like a brother figure you know just. It just so, someone that he could connect with, and uh, he had a, a, he had a small glimpse of future Gohan with uh, with present Gohan, and uh, it was really emotional uh, for Future Trunks to just leave him. Uh, but he was like, "But wait, I got a future to go to, and everything will be fine." So that was all well and good. The episode ends off there with uh, Future Trunks and Mai. They're going back and stuff like that, and that's pretty much that's pretty much the finale. Of the Future Trunks arc. Now, personally, I I really enjoyed uh, the whole Future Trunks Goku Black is a Masu arc. Why? Mainly just because we, we got to see uh, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, which was uh, this whole fan theory of w if, if it could or couldn't happen or not. Uh, and it did. We got to see that. We got to see Future Trunks again. We basically got to see. Uh, what there was of an actual like evil Goku because some people say that uh, Turles or Tullus uh, was the original evil Goku, but I don't, I don't really consider I don't really consider him to be the original evil Goku, even though I I can understand why they would say that. Uh, but that's that's all well and good. It doesn't matter, you know. I personally enjoyed it. Um, I feel like in certain episodes the animation could have been done a little bit better. Uh, the writing for the script for the episodes, I feel like, uh, just connected and worked really well. Even though there were a lot of inconsistencies and plot holes and stuff like that, and uh, and overall, I, I just I just like the fact that we got to see Future Trunks again. Uh, he he's in Super, and so for people who are waiting for the English dub, uh, be excited to hear Future Trunks uh, all over again, like it was in Z, and. Uh, also, uh, I think I said this before already, but English dub, it's been announced. If you haven't heard it, if you haven't heard it already, uh, you heard it here on the channel. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And uh, uh, the end of the episode, uh, the very end of the episode, it, it shows off what's going to happen in the next episode. And then Goku, uh, you know, he'll, he, uh, he's like talking about like all this and that was basically what's going to be happening in the next episode. And they're gonna make some wishes, and what and what wishes are they gonna make? Well, apparently Goku's uh, promising the uh, the King Kai uh, for him to be revived because uh, King Kai is, is dead at the moment, and he's been asking Goku to revive him for the longest time, but never did it. So he's gonna go ahead and revive him. But then we see Pan, baby Pan, uh, uh, all like sick or whatever. That's really weird. I don't know what I don't know what's gonna happen in the next episode. Uh, obviously, if you want to go 
onto on more professional, uh, bigger Dragon Ball Z YouTubers uh, videos. You can go ahead and check those out. Uh, I personally recommend Geekdom 101 or uh, Mike from Laughing Stock Media. I feel like those two channels are are some of the mo uh, some of the more reliable. But by all me, but by all means, you can uh, go and watch Josh from Dragon Ball Nation, and, and he uh, he's like the mathematician of the Dragon Ball community, and he and he's there uh, when it comes to power levels, and those are just a couple of other uh, Dragon Ball Z episode reviewer channels that do that do love Dragon Ball, and they review uh, Dragon Ball episodes a lot more, a lot better in my opinion than I ever can. I just do it because I'm a fan of the series, and I want to talk I want to talk about my opinions on the episodes for Dragon Ball Super because they're pretty much relevant at this point, which is which is awesome, you know? Anyways, uh, I took a lot of your time uh, of, out of today, and I, uh, I kind of apologize for that. But, um, it, 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 again, I'm... <laughs> I, again, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the fact that it took uh, so long uh, for this episode uh, or this, for this video to come out because, like I said... Uh, I kind of, I, I had a friend over, and uh, he kind of was just like there. Uh, he was kind of just here, and uh, I was busy just hanging out with him and stuff like that because uh, we we do that pretty much every single weekend. He comes over, uh, he'll stay over for the night depending uh, if it's like a Saturday or a, a, sat a Sunday or whatever. Uh, he'll just like chill out or whatever. We'll just play video games, play. Uh, Dragon Ball, um, watch anime in general because that's what we do and we're friends and whatever. Uh, but yeah, I took a lot of your time. Uh, anyways, if you did, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to uh, uh, leave a like and leave a comment saying uh, yes or no if you enjoyed uh, the Future Chunks arc for Dragon Ball Super. I'm actually fairly interested and also. Um, think about hitting the subscribe button so we can uh m make this channel much more bigger and we can grow uh more of a community on this channel because uh that is my dream to have a successful channel and connect with more of you guys because that's what i really want to do for this channel but anyways like i said if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment subscribe for future content like this and uh yeah i'll see you later have a wonderful day Games. I never really watched the show or the anime, considering the, uh, depending on whatever you call it. But I didn't really watch it until I was um, a little bit older, when I had a little bit more access of the internet. And then once I did, I re <laughs> I went all the way back to the beginning.